In the 1940s, a new and powerful electronic instrument struck the chemical world like a thunderbolt. The spectrophotometer, an electronic instrument for measuring the interaction of light with matter, became the leading edge of the second revolution in chemistry. Arnold Beckman was the first to manufacture the two most widely used spectrophotometers, those based on measurement of the absorption of ultraviolet and infrared light. Infrared spectrophotometers quickly became the chemist's instrument of choice. These IR spectros revealed the distinctive chemical fingerprints of molecules, allowing researchers to rapidly identify and measure them. With unprecedented fast and accurate knowledge of these fingerprints, chemists were able to create a host of new materials and dramatically improve chemical processes. World War II was the critical period for the rise of the IR spectros. As Dr. Beckman later recalled, few methods of chemical analysis have rocketed so swiftly from obscure birth in a research laboratory to worldwide prominence as has infrared spectrophotometry. Infrared light lying beyond the red end of the visible light spectrum was first revealed by British astronomer William Herschel in 1800. Herschel used a simple thermometer as his detector for the invisible rays. In the 19th century, scientists learned that infrared light, like visible and ultraviolet light, interacted with molecules. Specific molecules absorbed light in distinctive ways, including the infrared. By the end of the century, scientists realized many molecules had the most distinctive features of their chemical fingerprints in the infrared. During the first years of the 20th century, the American physicist William Kovalentz systematically traced the infrared chemical fingerprints for a host of materials. His detector was a delicate mechanical and optical assembly that registered the presence of the infrared radiation. Because of the delicacy and high craft of these infrared measurements, they were the province of a small community of experts for decades. This all changed dramatically during World War II with the demand for synthetic rubber. At the outbreak of the war, the U.S. was cut off from vital supplies of natural rubber. A modern army marched on rubber tires as much as it did on its stomach. The U.S. government started a huge crash program to develop a synthetic rubber, and for this, it needed a powerful new instrument. R. Robert Bratton, a physicist at the Shell Development Company, designed an infrared instrument that was selected by the Department of Rubber Reserve for the synthetic rubber program. Arnold Beckman's National Technical Laboratory was chosen to manufacture the instrument, called the Beckman IR-1. Nearly 100 units were produced during the war. With it, researchers developed and produced synthetic rubber and vital aviation fuel. Beckman's IR-1 was even used in the wartime program to decipher the chemical structure of penicillin. After the war, Beckman and other instrument makers produced legions of IR spectros for the chemical community. The instruments had proven their mettle during the war, and their impact only grew. They quickly became an indispensable tool for chemists to develop new products and new ways of making them, from plastics to medicine.